What is going on guys, Grave here today. I'll talk about some of the best ways to farm the Tribunal event, whether you're a new player, returning player, or a veteran player. Uh, there's a lot of things you can get within this event. So there's different ways you can farm it. I'm going to give you some of the best tips that I use year in and year out for all these different events that El the Elder Scrolls Online has in game. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. My affiliate link is down in the description along with a 5% discount code you can use at checkout. So how this works is, of course, the two zones, Clockwork City and Vardenfell, are going to offer a, a, a coffer drop. These coffers have different items in them. Of course, the items that you can get from this coffer can vary. It can be things like crafting materials, overland sets from both zones, style pages, and in a rare case, an entire motif chapter, that is very rare, but it can happen. Uh, the different style pages and motif pages you can get, of course, with things like the Ashlander uh, motif style, uh, the Moratong, Telvinian, Radoran, Halul, Ebon Shadow, and Clockwork Apostle. Of course, the new style page that we're going to have available with this event is going to be the Doctrine style page. You also can get Transmute Crystals, uh, Vardenfell or Clockwork City Treasure Maps, the new Slag Town Skin, the new uh, Memento that's going to be in a rune box. Of course, all three of these new items that I'm listing off here are tradable. And that is also including the new pet uh, that you can get. So the skin, the Memento, and the pet are tradable. Those are going to come in rune boxes. So you can trade those if you would like. Um, some things that, in my opinion, that are the best way to really take advantage of this, to get the most out of this event, are going to, of course, be, first of all, doing the dailies. I made a video the other day talking about you know, kind of unlocking the dailies in both of these zones. So some of these are kind of tricky to unlock. You may not have unlocked them yet. If you're a newer player, you may not have found them. So if you have not seen that video, I'll pop it up in the top corner right now. So you'll be able to have all the, you know, dailies unlocked for both zones. Now you can farm these with multiple characters if you have these unlocked on multiple characters. But in my opinion, one of the best ways to farm the daily quest you know so what, what that way you can do a daily quest turn it in and get a guaranteed coffer every time you do that daily quest is do it with a group so find a group of friends guild members randoms running around in the world does not matter uh, just find a group somebody go grab the, all the quest and then share them with the group and rinse and repeat the next person once you're done the next person can go grab quest share them with the group rinse and repeat you can farm coffers a lot uh, or a lot of coffers that way um and it's really an easy way, in my opinion, to get multiple coffers quickly. It's even faster, like I said, than doing it with a you know multiple characters if you have different characters because you don't even have to log in and out. You know, it's just like I said, rinse and repeat. One person shares uh, the quest. You go do them as a group. You get them done quickly. And then of course the next person goes in and just like I said, over and over. And you're gonna be able to get a lot of coffers that way. Uh, the next thing you can do, of course, is farm dungeon and delve bosses in the two zones. Now. The public dungeon bosses and the delve bosses, as you're going to kind of notice if you are newer to the game, these things are not going to stay alive very long. There's going to be a lot of people that are just sit on them, kind of farm them, camp them, you know, just sit there and wait on them to, to pop up all day. As long as this event's going on all day, every day, you're going to see people there sitting there farming these. So you can get in a group, once again, that's farming these uh, world bosses, these delve bosses, and kind of just run around with them. Or you can do it solo. Either way, you have a chance of getting a drop from these world and delve bosses. So that is another thing you can do for this event. Now, if you're not really into just getting tons and tons of coffers and you want to take advantage of the double nodes uh, that is going to drop in both of these zones, you can have a farm character or just a character you like to go out and farm on. I have a character that's made for, you know, this farming material. But either way, it doesn't really matter. You can go out and farm material. You're going to get double node drops. You're going to get double ore, wood, plants, uh, silk. You know all that kind of stuff so you can go out and actually farm those materials if you would like it's a good way to get you know materials built up a good way to get materials if you like to craft things if you want to sell them whatever the case may be just keep in mind farming nodes is not going to give you a, a coffer drop and when you're farming nodes it's not going to have a chance of dropping a coffer or anything like that the only way you're going to be able to get those coffers of course is going to be like i said those world bosses delve bosses uh, the dailies, or if you have a friend, a group or friends that play trials, you can get guaranteed drops from the trial bosses uh, within these two zones. Um, the last thing I want to kind of mention is make sure that you're doing those daily quests every day because the first daily quest that you turn in uh, every day in these zones, either zone, uh, is going to give you a glorious tribunal coffer, which is going to give you the same items that I listed off kind of at the beginning of the video. 
but it will give you a higher chance of some rare items like the skin, the memento, or pet fragments. So make sure that you're at least doing one daily quest every day. If you just want to go in there and farm mats, you at least want to do one daily quest so you have a chance of getting that glorious tribunal coffer. But like I said, in my opinion, if you really want to just farm it and just get all the um, coffers you can, farming delve bosses, farming world bosses, or getting in a group and doing the dailies is the best way. And you can sit in there pretty much all day and just farm the stuff. Have a good time with a group of friends, whatever the case may be. Uh, a group of randoms, you might meet some new friends, who knows. But that is one of the some of the best ways, in my opinion, to farm the Tribunal event, or really any of these events they have in-game where it drops coffers in these certain zones, you know, kind of these anniversary celebrations for each, you know, DLC when it was released. Also, if you are a new player and you do not own these zones, they will be on sale today, or if you're an ESO Plus member, uh, both of these zones, of course, included with the ESO Plus, so you can just go into them automatically if you have that ESO Plus membership. You know, a lot of these zones are included with the ESO Plus, but like I said, if you want to buy them outright, they will be on sale today as well, uh, kind of through the event time anyway. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you got any more tips for, you know, anyone out there that I didn't mention, you can leave them in the comment section below. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.